receivers and his running backs out of the backfield, and he likes to work over the middle of the field to his tight end and his slot receivers as well. Lawrence blitzes a lot more than F&B is used to, so we're going to see if he can kind of rush him, not give him some time to develop some of those routes down the field, and he's going to have to be able to use or lurk some of these routes and take away what FNB wants to do. I like some of his key players there, and we talked about the salary cap. He did spend some money on his receiver. Look at that. Got the cheetah, Tyreek Hill. And look, a lot of people will look at some of these club championships and say, oh, this is the Steelers. Well, look, it is salary cap, so you're buying players and, and getting that roster all together. So you can purchase and go ahead and get some of these players from other, other NFL teams. you got Marshawn Lynch. Love Ed Reed, the safety there. And you can also see some other players for FMB. Take a look at Lawrence, 25 years of age. I like that both of these guys played college sports. FMB played college basketball at Grambling State. Lawrence played college football at Texas State. So here are guys here that are used to, you know, being – you know, competitive and ready to go. Well, Lawrence played in Texas, and they say everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> well, right now here in Pittsburgh, he's on the biggest stage he has seen. He's going to have to be under these bright lights and be able to maintain his composure as he plays for the club championship. Yeah, and you saw some of those players there. I mean, look, this is great, man. Just talk about the balance, though. You know, because we've seen it with these salary caps. Some guys neglect the offensive line, and it can come back to bite you. Yeah, they want, when they need that one or that two yards and that cloud of dust, they're struggling to get it. They really need to figure out what works best for their game plan, and then match that personnel to it. But it looks like we're ready to go. We are live in the game here, and it'll be FMB against Lawrence, the first semifinal here for the MAC-19 Steelers Club Championship, live here from Stage AE. We got some fans that will be uh, filing in here. It's free and open to the public as we get ready for Thursday night football. Steelers, here we go against the Carolina Panthers. What's their hashtag? I guess it's uh, keep pounding for those dudes down there in Charlotte, right? Yep, uh, former home of mine. <laughs> you, you live all over the place. Naples, Delaware, was in Jersey. Went to high school in Jersey, yep. college in Delaware. Yep. I live in Naples now. Charlotte was a pit stop. <laughs> Speaking of Naples, Deliverance lives up the street from me. He is. He talked about being a good neighbor of yours, and I was like, is, uh, is, you know, is Rico a good neighbor? And he's, he had some good things to say about you there. I try. First down and 10, FMB will have the ball. And you look at FMB, here's a guy from Hill District, Pennsylvania, 24 years of age. We talked about it, a shooting guard at Grambling State. Got that Pats offense. We'll have the Lions defense. Going to see a lot of the gun bunch. So we'll be looking at some of those formations there. 2017 was in the championship game of the Steelers Club Championship. Lost to misery in the finals. Last year, Madden 18 didn't get out of group play. So here's a guy that's really motivated here, Rico. He definitely has redemption on his mind. He needs to. The way he lost has stuck with him. And he, you saw it affected him last year. He's finally been able to shake the rust off. Let's see if he's been able to accomplish it. First down and 10. Hands off to his running back, Tevin Coleman, from IU on the Steelers Club Championship team for FMB. Gets ready here for second down and two. Take a look at Mike Tomlin. I, I love the, how they have Mike Tomlin here, the virtual Mike Tomlin. He looks just like him. Also looks like a, an actor as well that we know as well. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it's all about his program, correct? Exactly. No more apps. I uh, know. Second down and two. Here you got, got his quarterback in the gun. Hands off once again. To come. Oh, he's going to be a little short there. We'll give him a gain of no yards there. Third down and two here. So first big third down of the game. And talk about here in competitive Madden, probably won't see a lot of punting. No, uh, I don't think anybody brought their kicker with them. If it's less than fourth and say 18, look for these guys <laughs> to go ahead and air it out. Mike Vick back to throw the former Steeler, and he's brought down and sacked. So Lawrence coming up with the defensive stop there. And I was talking to Lawrence before the game, and he says, look, man, here's a guy that won on a Hail Mary on a fourth down and two here. Uh, Lawrence won on a Hail Mary, and he talked about coming out defensively and setting the tone because he knew FNB wanted to come out and kind of bury him a little bit as we got this first fourth down. Yeah, it's got FNB got really lucky there. He was able to throw the ball just before he got hit and didn't take that sack. So fourth and two is a little bit more manageable. But he's going to have to get this ball away quickly. And that one's going the other way. It's picked off, and here we go. Lawrence now has the ball, and this is the defensive stop that he wanted and the great start. And that's what he was talking about. He likes yep. to blitz. He likes to send pressure. FMB did not feel comfortable in that pocket. You saw he got a little happy feet, threw that ball up for grabs. 
Lawrence is able to use alert that one and bring it on home. Talking to Lawrence, he says, Larry, look, my only concern is, first of all, he's a PS4 player, so he's concerned about pressing the wrong button. Uh, notably, that square button there, uh, you know, looking for it to be X or square there. And he says, I just need to relax and focus. That's my only thing. I, I've got to calm these nerves down here early, and it looks like he's off to a really good start. Here's we've got a flag here, but it'll be his first offensive possession here, and he's still in the game, and that's exactly what he was looking forward to, Rico, being in the game before he could get out of control. Now, if he can go ahead and put points on this board and then put that pressure back on FMB, that can go a long way in getting himself that first victory. You know what? Well-mannered young man, too. He kept calling me sir. It's like, dude, I'm old, but I ain't that old. I mean, I've got a kid almost your age, but I'm not that old. But uh, a very nice young man. You can tell, man, he's, uh, uh, look, from the Pittsburgh area, now lives in San Marcos, Texas. First run of the game, Marshawn Lynch. Oh, and he's running right through him. Some trucking. And now we've got some bucking almost into the end zone, brought down to the one. A 45-yard gain right there. And look, he is knocking on the door, Rico. I, we're in salary cap, but it looks like we're playing in beast mode right now because the way Marshawn was able to get to that outside. He wasn't able to get in the end zone here, but he's going to need to punch this one in. You don't want to take three. Man, had the truck stick working on that one. First and goal from around the one. Hands off to Marshawn Lynch. I'm just here so I don't get fined or I don't lose yards. And he did on that carry to be second down and goal from around the three. He sent a good job of FMB bowing his neck there, Rico. Now, Lawrence needs seven. You can't get discouraged mm -hmm. here. He could have taken it a little bit more outside and probably gotten the end zone, but he has two more shots at it. That fourth down, his first time here under the lights. You don't know if he's going to get a little nervous. I don't. He has two more shots. He needs to make the most of this. Are you a surprised, Lawrence? He's going to come out running the ball. He talked about airing it out. There he is. Not going to get into the end zone again. Lawrence talked about, look, I, I can throw the ball around, but he did tell me a little wink, wink, nod, nod. I am going to come out. I'm going to run this thing a little bit. Oh, he definitely said he wanted to pound it, and that's why he got Marshawn Lynch to make it a little easier on himself. We know FMB played basketball, so he's used to three, but he wasn't able to get that three here. <laughs> got six. Yes, he gave up six. And you can see he looks a little dejected right now. He did not want to be here mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, his own home turf, and get out to this type of start. I'll be curious to see if Lawrence breaks out one of his new dance moves. Four plays, 47 yards on the drive right there. Marshawn Lynch able to cap it off with a two-yard touchdown run. And it is Lawrence with the early lead. Oh, get on that ball there. Early in is recovered by Deion Sanders. So once again, FMB will have the rock. Second possession of the game here is going to have it well inside of his own territory around, I believe, the 10-yard line there, 15-yard line. So here comes Mike Vick back out in the gun. We'll have it around the 20, actually. Got Tevin Coleman offset to him. You'll see a lot of the uh, gun bunch for FMB. And he's got a pass to the left-hand side. And that thing is complete for three yards right there. You can tell FMB was a little bit nervous there. He got rid of that ball a little quicker than he wanted to. He's still seeing some of that blitzing from that first drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't give his guy a lot of time there to do a little toe drag swag there on the left-hand side. Second down and seven once again. FMB in the gun. Got his trips to the right-hand side. Vic back to pass. Plenty of time, and that one's a little short. Looking for his receiver. Mike Vick off to a slow start, one of four, three yards, and an INT. He looked like a shortstop there. He threw a two-hopper. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and seven here, coming for FMB, trying to work out these nerves here, and it's only going to get worse as more people fall in here to stage AE here at Heinz Field. Beautiful facility here, by the way. Love the fact that it's free. Got some coming here. You can get some brew. You can get some Dogs and food, whatever you need. Watch out, Michael Vick almost sacked, but he's got it off to the cheetah. Tyreek Hill takes a big hit, but that will be his first first down of the game. Gain of about nine there. We'll give him a first down, first and ten. Tyreek Hill, a catch and nine yards. Even though he got that first down, that is a tough way to make a living. He barely got that one off. He's going to need to do a little bit. He might have to use Michael Vick a little bit to buy himself some freedom, get him a rollout or two. Yeah, you look at Lawrence playing really good defense so far. This is the story of the game. Could Lawrence make this thing competitive on the defensive side of the ball? That's where a lot of his concerns were. But right now, it's been uh, you know some, some tough sledding for FMB moving the ball. Second down to 10, a gain of no yards on that play. Yeah, he's definitely in a box right now. He's going to have to think outside of that box <laughs> if he's looking to tie this game up. Don't say you want to have some outside the box thinking here on offense. Get this thing going. If you're FMB, look, you throw this thing around, you're good at it. Let's go ahead and get it started. Oh, and it's fumbled. And it's picked up by Lawrence. Second straight possession. He gets a turnover. 
And he'll have the ball again. If you're FMB, you got to be thinking, whoa, I was not expecting this. Here's the thing I don't get with that play. What's the purpose of getting Michael Vick if you're not going to run with him, if you're not going to get to the edge, you're not going to get to the outside? Or buy some time, yeah. you, you, You're going to stand there and go through your progressions in that. You might as well look at another quarterback. Good thing. Right, right. First down and 10 there, but you know what I like to say, uh, Rico, and you've been around a long time as a Madden historian. Sometimes Madden is good to you. Sometimes it's done. That's very true, but right now, Madden's looking really good to Lawrence. <laughs> For Lawrence, Marshawn Lynch averaging over 10 yards a carry. That's five carries, 51 yards there. He has yet to throw a pass. Now, look, he said wink, wink, nod, nod. Look, I'm going to run the ball. I, but, look, he makes his hay throwing the ball. But if you've got the lead and you've got an opponent that is seen to be someone that's a favorite over you, why not take the air out of the ball, right, if it's working? Yeah, and right now he knows he has three already. So he can go up two scores to start this game. He gets the ball back at the half. He's now just playing against the clock and using the cerebral part of it. Oh. Aaron Rodgers hands off to Marshawn Lynch. Once again, up the gut there, dancing and moving a little bit. Six carries, 60 yards, another first down here. As we're live here for the Madden 19 Steelers Club Championship, Larry Ridley alongside Rico Williams, the Madden historian here. We got FMB down to Lawrence. A bit of an upset in the making here, Rico. Yeah, FMB's having trouble stopping his run and stopping him from dancing. It's going to be a long game for him <laughs> if this continues. Let's go, hey, let's go, come on. Came out with the Millie Rock when we were, uh, you know, getting ready earlier today. I like Lawrence. Look at that face, though. He's serious, man. I mean, he hasn't moved the muscle. He is locked in and dialed in. Lock it up. First down and 10 for Lawrence. Once again, hands it off to Marshawn Lynch. Short game there. Call it a one-yard game, maybe half a yard. Second down and 10 for Lawrence there. He's up 7-0 over the favored FMB. Still yet to see a pass play from Lawrence. Now we're going to see if he can stay consistent with that. I'd hate for him to try to finally go to the air and wind up turning the ball over. You know you have three here. Be smart. Absolutely correct call there. Second down and 10. Lawrence. Born in Pittsburgh, lived here for 15 years, now resides in San Marcos, Texas. The former college football player at Texas State, the big tight end. I'm like, dude, how tall are you, 6'5"? He's like, no, 6'6". Six, six. My dude is standing up there at 6 feet 6 inches. Nice uh, ball player in college at Texas State uh, in the Sunbelt Conference uh, down there, Division I football Go at Texas out. State. Second down to 10. Lawrence once again with the ball around the... 12-yard line. He's got Aaron Rodgers. A-Rod back in the gun. He's got a receiver. And up top, aggressive catch, and it's hauled in. And that is a touchdown. OBJ rocking the black and yellow. Wow. Lawrence up 13-0, pinning the PAT. The PAT is up, and it is good. And, folks, we are officially on upset alert. Lawrence up by two scores. If you would have told me it was 14-0 with 4.57 left in the second quarter, I would have said, man, tough time for Lawrence in his first <laughs> <laughs> time on the big stage. But right now, he is in complete control of this game. Well, we didn't get your cone stole lock pick, uh, but uh, you can go ahead and tell us where you were going to go. Well, at the point now, hindsight's always 2020. <laughs> My rock solid pick it. is going to be Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference between a fool and a damn fool. My mama didn't raise the damn fool. Uh, I was born at night, but not <laughs> last night. First down at 10. FMB third possession here. Critical right here. Uh, Rico to get this thing going. He's got Evan Ingram, the tight end. Giant tight end there from uh, Ole Miss. Hottie Toddy, as they like to say down there in Oxford, Mississippi. Uh, picks up enough for the first down. First down and 10. This is what we need to see from FMB. Open that thing up. Get Michael Vick on the edge and throw that rock. He's going to have to do something because right now he is just staying in the pocket, trying to go through his progressions, and that's allowing Lawrence to take everything he needs away from him. First down and 10. Vick. Back to pass, plenty of time. Got his tight end. Oh, Aaron, Evan Ingram, once again, another truck off the left-hand side. Vic now with his fourth completion. Now, as a former Vic user, I'm going to tell you what I would like to. He had him one-on-one -on -one out there. There was nobody on that left side. Roll with Vic. He'll pick up that block. He could have still been running with Vic. Mm, good point But there. instead, he takes that short pass, and he winds up getting tackled. He needs to use Vic as more of a run option. Well, maybe he's worrying about something like that or possibly fumbling the ball as well. Uh, but... We know this. We, we gotta got to have him open it up for Michael Vick. I agree with you wholeheartedly there, getting him out on the edge and using Mike Vick, the old mad Mike Vick, the one we used to see uh, back in the day, uh, back in the early to mid-2000s uh, here for Madden. Second down and 10, FMB down by two scores. A favorite here to get to the finals at least. 
where he was in Madden 17 and lost. And he's going deep, and he's got a receiver, double covered. And it's hauled in, and it's dropped by his receiver. He had him right there, Rico. Yep, and that's what Vic does. He does have that cannon of an arm, so he's able to get that ball deep. But he was able to have safety help over top because he was still there. Tyreek Hill still got behind him. Yeah, he still got behind him. But you got to make sure that you make the most of everything you have in your team. You get Michael Vick for a reason. You get him because it causes problems for the defense. They always have to keep a spot. He doesn't, right now, Lawrence doesn't have to spy him mm -hmm. as much because he's not running. He's not getting outside that pocket. Third down and 10 here for FMB. Has the ball at his own 43-yard line. Mike Vick in the gun. Got his bunch to the right-hand side. There's still a lot of gun bunch. Patriots offense for FMB. Vic, plenty of time. He's going deep, and he's got a receiver, and he's wide open. Gets into the end zone, into that painted Steelers end zone, and that's a touchdown. Evan Ingram, hotty toddy from Ole Miss, and he's back in it. Boy, did he need that one. Did not want to face a fourth down at 10 on the own side of the, your own side of the field. Down two scores, and that may have been Katie bar the door. Yeah, he definitely is happy he doesn't have to make that decision now. <laughs> now, hopefully he can build on that momentum get himself a stop and get right back into this game. He needs something because you got to remember, in the second half, Lawrence starts out with the ball. He does. Now, Lawrence has been dominating the ball by running it. If he's smart, he'll take as much time off this clock as possible, and if he can, let this be the last possession of the half mm -hmm. so it leads into him getting the ball and trying to seal this game. Yeah, I get that little uh, daily double right there, man. A score before the end of the half and a score coming out of the half there. You see some of these NFL teams do so well. Uh, one of those teams, uh, of course, being the Patriots, they do a good job of that. We've seen the Steelers do a good job of that at times here, here as well. The Hines will first down at 10. Lawrence, his third possession of the game. Rodgers back to throw. Oh, there's the pick. Deion Sanders, prime time. Prime time. Taken down around the 16, 17-yard line, and now the turnovers are almost even, and we might almost have an even Steven score if he can get into the end zone here, Rico. They say water covers three quarters of the earth, Dion <laughs> covers the rest. We see why now. That was a big stop. Now FMB has that momentum. He needs seven here. You don't want to take three, but you also want to be smart and capitalize on this turnover. Does it mean it didn't look like Dion was running with a piano on his back? He looked a little <laughs> slow coming up. Oh, no, he threw it back to him. Can he go 109? He's got some room on the sideline, spinning and winning. He's still on his feet. Finally brought down around the 45. And how about Lawrence's third turnover of the day? I just finished saying <laughs> just FMB. Say. You don't want to give this ball back. You definitely want to score. This speaks volumes to right now how locked in Lawrence is. He faced a little bit of adversity, but he didn't back down. He stood tall. His defense got to stop. Now. Can he make the most of this second chance at this last drive? You know, Lawrence talked about it. He says, man, I'm more of a reaction type of a player, but I know this Patriots offense that I can stop it and I know how to deal with it. And there is Steve Smith Sr. there with the catch. Big first down completion to Aaron Rodgers to Steve Smith Jr. First down and 10 in FMB's territory. So Lawrence starting to open it up a little bit offensively. Yeah, and he has Aaron Rodgers, who looked phenomenal on that last pass. Talking about a guy that can get out on the edge and do it from the pocket. That's uh, definitely uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the history of the National Football League. First down at 10. Lawrence with the lead. Back-to-back -back turnovers for both guys. First and 10, under three minutes to play. Marshawn Lynch up the gut. A couple there. Wow. Second got, down and eight. He got stood up quickly. That was shocking. Usually Marshawn will break that first tackle. Great wrap up by FMB. Very good wrap up there. Second down and eight here, but I think you, uh, you're starting to see with uh, with Lawrence here as he flips the formation back over. Got the trips to the left hand side, trying to burn some clock. He wants to chew it all up right here and not leave any time for FMB because if he can get a touchdown here and then get the ball out of the second half. That might be the difference in the ball game, especially if he doesn't turn it over. Rodgers back to throw. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Hits the receiver right over the middle. Got his tight end tie right there. For his back. First down and 10. And that's a completion there. Great job of bleeding the play clock and also hitting the wide open receiver standing right across the middle of the field there. He was wide open with an understatement. FMB was trying to take away that deep route, sure did. but left everything open underneath, and that's going to be a tough way to make a living. Will Ty, the former New York Giant, 
was sitting right there, wide open. Two minutes to play here as we go under the two-minute warning. Lawrence with the lead. Great job here by Lawrence. Going to make FMB play the game here and call his timeouts. He has one remaining. If you're Lawrence, you definitely continue to try to run this ball and, and take as much time off the clock, right? I do not throw this ball again. He saw what happened. <laughs> you don't want to allow this. You can go into this up two scores and getting the ball back. That's a pretty good receiving tree over there, man. Some, some Smurfs over there. Nobody big. I think OBJ might be the biggest one of them all. He's, OBJ is about 5'11", maybe six feet max. Got Steve Smith Jr. and also the cheetah. He gets rid of that ball right before he sacked. I'm with you. What, what, what are we doing here? He got too greedy. He mm -hmm. had the underneath route sure wide did. open that he could have taken. Probably got a little closer. He didn't take any time off the clock there. That's what happens when it's your first time in the hot seat. Under the bright lights here on stage here at Stage AE at Heinz Field for the Madden 19 Steelers Club Championship. Larry Ridley alongside the Madden historian Rico Williams. Live here in the Steel City. Here we go. Third and 12. Got Steve Smith Jr. Took the route out there into the flat. And now left way too much time for FMB here. He'll try the field goal line. If he would have ran that ball like he was supposed to on second on down, second down mm -hmm. he wouldn't have had that. The clock would have been ticking. Rookie mistake. Well, probably would have taken some time off, but it would have definitely cost FMB his last time out. Then on third down, you come back and you get to eat up at least another 40 seconds. So you're absolutely correct there. But he does get the field goal, 17-7. Lawrence with the lead. FMB, though, a buck 42 to play here in the half to try to get back into this thing and uh, make this also a one-score game. So early on, what has, you know, what's been sort of your takeaway here watching these two guys kind of go back and forth? You can see some nervousness on both sides. And speaking of nervousness, just like that, Lawrence makes a terrible mistake on that kickoff. You don't want to give a player as good as FMB a shorter field than necessary, especially when he's working with no timeouts and a minute 42 left. First down and 10, so FMB will get the ball at his 40. You'll see uh, FMB, Patriots offense. He does the Lions defense. Once again, you got the gun bunch over there to the right-hand side. Got his tailback offset to the left-hand side. He's got Randy Moss on the back side as the X. He's got B. Can he get over? Oh, I was about to say, in, in between three defenders, wasn't able to haul it in. It'll be second down and 10 here. Also, if you look, if you're F&B, you want to be careful here. You don't want to you know, give the ball back to Lawrence and have him have an opportunity to go up three scores. Yeah, you have to drive, You have to walk a fine line between still being aggressive and trying to put points on the board, but not giving the, the ball up and turning it over and allowing Lawrence to increase that lead. And you don't have to go for broke. You don't have to get greedy here. You got plenty of time. A buck thirty-five. Plenty of time here. And there's Michael Vick taken down by Williams. A loss of eight there. Third down and eighteen. So. Here's a big third down coming up, Rico, here, because you get the fourth down. Now you got to start thinking, all right, what's the what's the correct play here? I don't want to be over-aggressive and maybe have him have the short field. If you're FMB, what you do here is you go end zone. <laughs> That's it. You know you're going to punt. You're going to have to bring your punter out here, and then you try to make sure. Well, he had A. Now he's going to the other zone. It's a tip drill. And we've got the defensive back going the other way. He's going to be brought down around the 40-yard line. And that is the fourth turnover of the half for FMB. And if you're Lawrence, you have to capitalize on this. You can't get four turnovers and only get seven points off of it. You have to do something here to make uh, and put a bigger dent into the scoreboard. Yeah, this is where you have a chance to seal the game right now. You're up 10. If you can get seven here and then have the ball back, you that can, can be now, the game. Yeah, that can be the game, and then you have Marshawn Lynch, and you just keep feeding the beast. And you better not throw it ever again. <laughs> again. Never, ever, that. ever, ever. First down and 10. Lawrence across the middle. Got Steve Smith Sr. there. Rogers 5 of 7 on the day. Does have a touchdown. Does have a pick as well. Second down and 3. He's got plenty of time. Under 50 seconds to play. As we head into halftime here live at stage AE at Heinz Field. You're watching Larry Ridley, Rico Williams, the Madden historian for the Madden 19 Steelers Club Championship on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Madden. And there's Lynch off the left-hand side as we get a little hurry up here, Rico. He has three timeouts left. I don't even know why he's hurrying it up here. He should have called the timeout, make sure everybody's fresh, keep going. Because you just wasted so much time calling that no huddle. He's already settled for three. 
Across the middle, got another receiver down inside of the 15, and there will be a, you know, a timeout here. Look, you got to start using it. you got to burn these things. What are we doing? You can't take them with you. <laughs> and, this is, and this is where you see the naivete showing. <laughs> naivete. <laughs> In his first trip here. But he's been lucky enough that the game has been giving him a couple breaks, so this isn't going to come back to haunt him. But he should have still had at least 30-something seconds left right. where that would have given him options right now. Now he has to make sure he doesn't throw a pick. Right. And also, there's a big difference of being up 24 to 7 or 20 to 7 and then getting that ball to start the second half as well. Another timeout here as you get Marshawn Lynch off the right hand side. It seemed like he's playing for the field goal now. Just completely took the aggressiveness away from him by not calling the timeouts. You're, you're absolutely right, Larry. But he could have still done that with more time absolutely. left. He has a timeout that he's going to waste right now. Zoom, zoom. Whereas he could have had some more time to have a couple zoom, of zoom. different. Shots and we'll see. Seven. We'll see how much of a competitor he is here because he got time for two quick plays, but they got to be quick. Now uh, you, you might cost yourself. He's going to cost himself. He's not careful, and he barely gets it out of the end zone. There with one second left. Naivete. My grandmother always told me I had more luck than sense, and right now <laughs> his name is Lucky Lawrence because he was not even supposed to that extra second. And everybody who plays Madden will tell you. That last second is the longest second mm. in the world, <laughs> whether it's the end of the half or the game. But gets the ball to start the second half. You can't really ask for a better first half if you're Lawrence. If somebody told him be up 20-7, to seven, get in the ball, he'd mm -hmm. take it every day and twice on Sunday. Yeah, it should be more like 30-7, to seven, maybe even 34-7. to seven. Now it's really over. Uh, but look, f and still in this ball game. Critical series right here for Lawrence. Can he go ahead, take some time off the clock, put some points on the board, or can FMB get a stop here and get the ball back to his offense and try to get something going here? As he was the one that talked about, I've got to get off to a fast start. To get off to a fast start, I can knock this guy out. It's been the other way around. Hey, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> and right now, FMB has no plan. But he needs to plan to get a stop. Uh-oh. Got a receiver. Oh, if he catches that, now he's in business there. Aaron Rodgers deep to his receiver. That was Tyreek Hill once again. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Because this is his first time in the hot seat, I don't know that he knows he was supposed to just run clock. <laughs> I don't know that he knows he was supposed to just keep handing that ball to Marshawn Lynch. But, hey, it worked. <laughs> Man, uh, it's, 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 you're right. It's weird because, like, they're operating the opposite way of the way that we're used to seeing the game played and the way we're used to seeing the game commentated. And it's like, it's catching me off guard. It's a little hurt and jerk. I'm, I'm kind of like getting whiplash. Like, what the heck is he doing? But it is working. Marshawn Lynch, a little spin move. But here comes the Calvary to bring him down around the eight-yard line. It'll be second down and seven here as he's knocking on the door once again. Conventional wisdom would tell you to just run this ball, run this ball, run this ball little chew clock, run this ball, run this ball, run this ball. But Lawrence has continued to stay aggressive. He's looking to put more points on the board. Right now with a 13-point lead, he can go up 16 worst-case scenario. There's no way I put this ball in the air. There's a tip drill waiting to happen. I know. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, but, man, as they like to say down south, man, if you're scared, go to church. So we'll see uh, what he'll do here. He's being aggressive, but... Hey, Rico said run it, and you can see the scream. There is some emotion there from Lawrence. A little truck action there. Hey, if you win this game, I'm calling you Larry. <laughs> <laughs> and my other brother, Daryl, and my other brother, Daryl. And <laughs> I just can't wait to see <laughs> what dance he breaks out in the post-game interview <laughs> with Skyler. Oh, we, we saw some Millie Rock early on. You know we'll probably get some. Some, what, do you, what do you call from the, the Fortnite dances, right? What do we got some? Uh, what do you, what the the Fortnite dance. That's what you can just call it. <laughs> it's the floss, right? Uh, or as the Kirk Cousins did. I, I'm like Kirk Cousins. I'm like the old man floss, you know? And that's where he was depending on that high point pass, where if he just waited, he had nobody over there. He could have just threw the ball. Sure. Well, it's too early to go over two there? Well, no. He would have tried to go up 28-7. Yeah, but it's early. <laughs> as f &B, it's not. <laughs> it's rather late. Hey, unorthodox, but it has worked for him. He's up by 19, so who are we to question any decision this young man has here? A Pittsburgh native, lived here for 15 years in the Steel City, now calls San Marcos, Texas home. Lawrence won on a Hail Mary in the online final game with eight seconds left. Threw a 65-yard bomb. He was down four. That's how he got here. He ain't scared. If you're FMB, you got to think to yourself right now, Final score of this game, 28-26. Yes. I'm going to go ahead, 
get seven here. That requires two stops. All he needs to do is get a score here, mm -hmm. stop, score. score in the fourth, stop, <laughs> and then you have your money drive. <laughs> That's it. As Gibbs said, it's <laughs> – it's your I, I love the fact you were doing some some quick math there. I, I saw the wheels spinning because <laughs> oh, yeah. I was right there with you. Second down and five. Got a receiver. Got Evan Ingram off the left-hand side. Brought down around the 45, Rico. If he could have broke that tackle, there was a lot of daylight. He did. There's a young man. Season cut short, man. I, you know, living in the New York area uh, with the Giants, man. He's uh, had some issues with the, some leg injuries this year. Uh, the whole Giants organization's had some issues this year. That's a different story. Uh, it's good to be here in the Steel City with the Steelers. And once again, oh, broken up there. A good job by the secondary of Lawrence. Lawrence has been playing some hellacious defense. you got to give him some credit, man. We like to call that a big box because he's bringing it on the road. <laughs> yes, he is. And he's not scared. you got to love the fact that he's still bringing his blitzes. He's still taking it out. Yep. Because the only thing I like to say, prevent defense, is prevent our punks. And, and look, and, and you got to give him credit. I mean, I don't see why more people don't do that. He's not settling. And, oh, he high catch, aggressive catch, and it's brought down by the receiver. Mike Vick completes that one. Uh, I, I'm with you on this. I have been a little surprised that we haven't seen more playmaking from Mike Vick. I, I'd be curious to see, and hopefully Skyler will ask if they decide to interview FMB afterwards. Why go with Vick if you're not going to run? At that point, you might want to go with an Aaron Rodgers or something like that. It's very interesting. This is when you're the GM and the coach. Mm -hmm. I think the GM needs to tell the coach, hey, we got him for a reason. <laughs> nice route. Got oh. ran you on the left-hand side, Randy Mouse. Oh, nice route there. And you look at Mike Vick's numbers, less than 50%, but he's back up to a buck 48 now. Does have a couple of uh, INTs as well. And he's uh, in the red zone, and he's in business here. This is a must score, uh, a TD, if you will, uh, for FMB, who is trailing by 19 on a first down and 10 here. Got his punch to the right-hand side. Tobin Smith offset to the Oh, nice sliding catch there to his tight end, Ingram. Poorly thrown ball, but great execution picking up the pass. There's second down and one here, Rico. That seems to have been a common theme throughout this game, a poorly thrown ball. Yeah, a lot of behind. A lot of short, short hops, high, wild, and he's still in his ball game. And oh, off the side there. And like you said, Lawrence still bringing it, pressure off the right hand side. He said he was going to, he wanted to make sure that FMB felt uncomfortable in that pocket. He didn't want to give him time to go through his progressions. And if you're going to play against Vic, make him make a decision. And you know, you, you think about Lawrence, and he was talking about being reactionary. Here he's been the aggressive the entire game. There's another blitz off the left-hand side of the defense, the right-hand side of the offense. And Mike Vick, run Mike Vick. Can't get away from him that time. And that is three sacks on the day uh, for Lawrence. Bing, you know, Bing bringing a lot of pressure all game. Speaking of math, he could have taken three there and cut it down to two scores. Two scores and two, and two point conversions. But right here, he's going for it all. Not going to get it. Not going to get it. Well short. Probably eight yards, nine yards short of the first down. And how about Lawrence? Kids call him Larry. Coming out here with the Millie Rock. Dancing on the fools, man. I'm telling you, I was not. Look, I expected a close game, but I was with you. I'm like, okay, FMB's going to bring this thing home. Quiet confidence from this dude, man. I'm going to start calling him Flashy Larry. <laughs> the way he was dancing and acting in the truck stick. This is great. Oh, wow. Oh, he's got plenty of space there. Oh, That's no. just terrible stick work. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I didn't mean <laughs> to really say that, but you got to score there. He had nothing but daylight ahead of him. He had a blocker. He was a little over-anxious right there. I don't, I don't know if he scores, but he's probably still running for about 20, 30 yards. Bare minimum on that when you're right on that. But look here. Time winding down here. And this is where you want to chew some clock here, man. All right? You, you want to get this thing down. You don't want to play any games. I know you've been aggressive. But there comes a time when it's like, you know, look, let's let's be smart. Let's be smart. Second down and six here for Lawrence, running off the left-hand side. Oh, he had more space. You want to take the guy on? We get it. 15 rushes, 92 yards. But now it's third down to three. That's two runs out of his first three. That should have been first down runs for Lawrence. And you see Marshawn Lynch, he's just here so he doesn't get fined. We move into the fourth quarter here. Heinz Field, beautiful Heinz Field. Last time I was here, I was working in Boston. I was here with the Patriots. Steelers won that game, put a nice whipping on Brady and those guys. Back then, they were shooting Batman. The Dark Knight Rises back in the day, man. Wow. Pretty cool. 
Third down to three for Lawrence. Hands it off to Marshawn Lynch. Up the gut. We'll give him a, probably a yard there. It'll be actually a uh, half a yard maybe. Fourth down and three here. Well, what are you doing? What are you thinking here if you're the offensive coordinator? For, I was thinking, do you punt Well, here? here's the thing. I wouldn't have punted here because he didn't take the three. If FNB would have took the three and it was a two-score game, mm -hmm. I would have punted. But here, you're still up three. I would have tried to get that first down. I like it, especially if you're going to go ahead and be aggressive anyway. Go ahead forward. But uh, maybe it was what we were seeing going into the fourth quarter. Hey, it's the fourth quarter. Maybe it's starting to dawn on him like, okay, uh, I've got $1,000 here. This is a basically a $1,000 game. The winner gets 3000 and we move on. So maybe he's thinking, you know what? Let me make him make all the plays, and I'm not going to allow him and let him get back into the game by any mistakes that I might that I might cause. Well, he's going to have to lock it up on defense. Right now, you got four minutes and 21 seconds. If you're FMB, you need to score, and you need to score quickly. Yeah, you're starting to look at the time here. You need three scores, right? You need three touchdowns, two touchdowns, two extra points, and a field goal. Uh, yeah, there's a lot out it. there for FMB, and he's going deep, and he's got a receiver across the middle. It's Rand you, Randy Moss, coming across the middle, and he has that one completed. It's going to be around around the red zone, somewhere around the 20, 21. First down and 10, tick, 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 as we get close to four minutes here. Larry Ridley Longshot and Rico Williams, the Madden historian. First game of the day for the Bad 19 Steelers Club Championship. Mike Vick back to throw. Got a receiver. Oh, and he got away with that one. Wow. Oh, he was lurking. That a definitely should have been a pick. A throw becomes a good play. He had the entire middle with Vick that mm. he could have just took off and run. That was a very interesting read, and sometimes, you know, it's better to be lucky than good. Sometimes Madden is good to you, and sometimes it's not. It was good to FMB. Do you onside kick here? Line, line, line. No. 300, 300. Now, I don't understand why he's going. Well, I guess he's going to try to make it to a field goal. Yeah, he wants two touchdowns, two extra points, and a field goal. So that's what he's thinking. So you won't need three touchdowns at the end of the game. Two-point conversion is good. He's down 11 now. He's going onside kick. I don't know about this. You got a full complement of timeouts. Maybe he doesn't have confidence that he can stop Marshawn Lynch. Maybe he saw the last series. If the dude had any stick work, he's still running the ball and has first downs. Onside cook recovered by Lawrence. So here we go. 354 left. We'll see what Marshawn Lynch can do. We'll see if he can get that truck stick going. And not only that, how about FMB? Defense, Lions, gonna have to get aggressive. You're gonna have to go for some strip sacks. You wanna have to go ahead and get some nice run commits there. See so if you can bring down Marshawn Lynch and not let him get going. Well, I happen to peek into the chat to see what everybody's saying. I want to give a shout-out to Izzy Carey and Dubby, and everybody's going back and forth. A lot of people are shocked right now that FMB is in the position he is. It's going to be a very interesting podcast and stuff later. <laughs> Lawrence did leave some points on the board. We talked about that going here into the second half. But, look, he has the ball, has an 11-point lead, 26-15. Going to choose some clock. Can he pick up? I think two or three first downs, and it's Katie Barr to do anyway. Two first downs, and probably over. There's not enough time. Marshawn Lynch closing in on 100 yards, had 45 on the very first carry. So you're looking at 17 carries for about 45, 50 yards after that, about 50 yards after that. So if you're FMB, you've done the job corralling him and containing Marshawn Lynch. That's why I probably would have wanted to go ahead and kick the deep. Uh, instead of giving him the ball here, where he's pretty much in field goal range already with the first down. This is the biggest defensive play of the game right here. you got to get off the field here if you're FMB. Do make him make a decision on fourth down. Third down to seven. Up to the bunch. Hands it off to Marshawn Lynch. Playing it very conservatively there. There's the timeout. Smart call. FMB is starting to finally get in his group. He's putting a little bit of pressure on Lawrence, making him realize, yes, you are in the hot seat. I'm not going to just give this game up to you. You're going to have to actually take it. Now, I don't know why he's going for this. I don't have a problem with this, and I'm going to tell you why. He's been running the ball effectively. If he can just get a first down here, not only that, you got you to trust the defense. Defense has been there, but, oh, he made me look pretty bad there. But if you're Lawrence, your defense has been balling all game. Don't have a problem with it, but I wouldn't have thrown the ball. That's the problem. No. I get, at the point where you go for it, you have to try to get the first down. So whatever your six-yard play is, you do. But he was three. never, ever, ever supposed to go for that right then and there. Make FMB go the entire field. You've had him in a box the whole game. Don't make it easy on him. Now he might be knockout. able to score before yeah. the two-point, before the two-minute uh, warning. And now you're in a ball game. But we were talking about it, just how unorthodox he's been the entire ball game. Why change it? We called for him to change in the third quarter. He didn't. 
So he's still going for it. And there is incomplete pass there. And that's why he probably did it. He's like, look, FMB's got 15 points on the board. But for the most part, I've controlled this game defensively. So we'll see if we can keep him out of the end zone. It's going to be a fascinating two and a half minutes here as we get down close towards the two-minute warning here. Fourth quarter with Lawrence if up Lawrence, by 11. If Lawrence winds up losing his game, I need Skyler to ask him about that. Point. He should have punted that ball. He's hoping that it'll be a moot point. Oh, and it's caught by FMB. And Mike Vick quietly, over 200 yards now, a couple of touchdowns, starting to warm up and pick it up. Starting to heed your uh, concerns earlier about getting out of the pocket. And look, if you're not going to run the ball, at least use the arm of Mike Vick and let that cannon go. Yes, he needs to do something quickly. He, if he can, he needs to get in before this two-minute warning right here. First down and 10, Mike Vick. Oh, and he's brought down, and that time he is sacked. Fourth sack of the ball game, and that's in Dominican Sue. That's going to the, the two-minute warning. Can't take that sack there. Yeah. He, the purpose of having Michael Vick is that speed. It's to make the defense uncomfortable. You have to use that speed to your advantage. Right now, he's letting Lawrence be too comfortable on defense. Lawrence has done a very good job. He has been a guy dictating here. And that's why he went for it on fourth down. I still thought he should have run the ball. Oh, good catch, but Moss running the wrong way there. Third down and 16, only picked up two yards there on that pass play. If you're Lawrence, you're like, you can do that all day long, bro. Third down and 16 here for FMB. Needs a big play here. And he just put himself, he's not even in field goal range. He needs, needs to be able to get three. Oh, and there's the alert, and that's going to be a wrap there. Katie, bar the door. Takes it close to midfield, and that's the fifth turnover for FMB. That's why I didn't have a problem with him going for it. Didn't like the call on fourth and three. <laughs> Throwing the ball across the middle. But his defense, he's been very confident, and he's been dictating all day long to FMB. Well, his next move, his next dance move is going to be the electric slide. He's going to have to slide out of this one. He got a little lucky here. Oh, he did. 26-15. There's a timeout there from FMB. Has one timeout remaining here. Lawrence, the underdog. First time playing in a, in a Madden Club championship. And he's here in a live event here with the Steelers. Do you know who the happiest person is right now? Who's that? The winner of the Deliverance Chaos game. Hey. Yeah, you would think, but maybe maybe they weren't prepared for this guy. But here's what I'll tell you. Watching this, mm -hmm. all, you realize that no matter what happens in the game, he's going to give you a couple of chances to get back. He could have put this game away early, and this could have been a no-brainer. But now, who knows? Yeah, did leave some points on the board there late in the second now. quarter and coming into the third quarter. You're right. Probably should have at least 30-something points on the board. By my math, at least bare minimum, probably 36, maybe 35, 36. Uh, and this game should have been long over, but look, he, he came in, had a plan. His plan was put him in a box, play great defense. I'm going to run the ball. He's not thinking I'm going to come out with Marshawn Lynch and run it down his throat, build a lead, and then play from ahead. And that's exactly what he's been able to do here on a fourth down and 13. 110 left as we get close to a minute left here. This will definitely be the play. Of the game here is if he's able if he's able to convert here now. on fourth down and 13. Aaron Rodgers back in the gun, looking for a receiver. Got him right there, and that's gonna do it. Odell Beckham Jr. And you can see the hand go up in the air. And how about that? Lawrence coming into Heinz Field, back into the city where he grew up in, with the lead, and he's gonna walk away and get into the championship game. Man, here at Heinz Field. FMB was on the mustard and couldn't <laughs> catch up. <laughs> All the mustard on that hot dog. Uh, not hot dog in it yet. He's been a real good sport here, man. And um, look, if you're if you're Lawrence, you got to feel good about this. No one thought that you can get out of this this semifinal game. Everyone had it as you know FMB in the finals. FMB felt pretty good. He felt confident coming in. But great game plan by Lawrence. And as you'll see some good sportsmanship there. Love to see that here live at Hinesville. Lawrence gets the win over FMB 26 to 15. And Rico, who would have thunk it? The young man from San Marcos, Texas, moving on to the championship game. Lawrence had to think it. There's no way you come. <laughs>